All right, guys, what's going on? It's Josh. Uh, today, I'm creating a video on just how to install modifications for Emergency 4. So um, I'm just going to jump right into it so I don't keep any of you guys are waiting. Um, so for example, you'll go to a website. Uh, I'm on the EM4 resource site. They have uh, modifications for their, from their development team. There's other sites as well that I can link in the description that'll have a bunch of different types of mods as well. Uh, relatively, it'll all be the same thing. So you'll click download this file. Uh, usually it'll bring you to another website like Mega or uh, sometimes on the website it'll just immediately download depending on the website. So for example, it's going to take me to this folder right here and then I'll click download right up there at the bottom and then you'll see um, at a little page, it's, uh, it's it'll install right here at the bottom where my mouse is and then it'll pop up with a, a little folder icon in the bottom left corner afterwards. I already actually installed the mod so I'll pause mine. Uh, and then, so this is an example of the modifications I have. I just have the Fairbanks, Alaska one right here. So uh, to get up, you have to get into your EM4 um, uh, mod folder. So for example, you can just uh, search up EM4 on your Steam or however you have it. You go to the properties, local files, browse, and then from there you see data, mods, reshades, uh, shaders, which is actually mine. But you just go directly to mods right there and you have a huge mod folder. These are all my modifications. Uh, and then to install modifications like this, uh, it's it's quite simple. All you all you have to do is drag and drop the mod folder in there. I recommend getting something like um, what's it called? Uh, usually when you download the modification, it'll come in like a, a different type of. Uh, I think it's a mega. Uh, I forgot what the folder is, but uh, I'll link it in the description with what I have. Uh, Really, it shouldn't matter too much. It just depends on how you install it. Sometimes you'll get a different installation package, and it'll say like, uh, it'll literally just have like a little like one file. It won't have anything in that file besides like uh, an installation thing and install. And to do that, you can click the mod installer, and then you would install the package. And you see, it'll bring up this. And then, for example, uh, I'll just go to my downloads or wherever it, wherever you have that uh, located in. You click on that and then there'll be like a something in that folder i don't have an example of it uh but you'll literally click the file right there and then you'll be able to install that package into there that's another way you could do it if it doesn't come up into the folder like that but otherwise it's you know pretty straight and folder or, or pretty straight and forward you get the mod pack uh you get the file drag and drop the file into there and then load up your em4 and go to the mod section and launch the mod and that's it from there so thank you guys for watching hope that was straightforward any questions you have feel free to ask in the comments at all i'll answer them and try to help you guys out